Okay, in this video we've got a, another very simple, easy task. It says at the end of page 3, uh, the gallery task or requirements, they want you to add the animated GIF called Gallery into the Writer's Workshop page. And that it can be found in the Assets folder. So we've obviously got it in here, and you'll see it's this one here. Now at the moment you can't tell if it's a GIF or not unless you hover over it and it tells you, look, is there's a GIF. Meaning, it's an image that changes multiple times to different images. So we want that in the writer's corner, writer's workshop page. I'm pretty sure, let's have a double check. Yes, that's right, writer's workshop page. So we're going to go here, there we go. We'll just find a nice little spot for this. So what I'm going to do is just going to split this up, two rows, that's fine. Put it underneath, I'm just going to go in here. We're going to go to insert, and we're going to basically... Um, I believe it's just an image actually, let's try that. So we're going to go to image and find the gallery image. There it is. And just press OK. Say no to that. And we're going to call this gallery if. There we go. Um, press OK. Here we go. Save it and let's give this a go. Hopefully it should work. So we go to the events page and then we go from there to the writer's workshop. If we go down. Oh, for some reason my writer's workshop page isn't correct, so I need to double check that here. So let's go to the events page, click here. That's why I've not clicked it. So always test everything. So uh, it's a good job I'm checking it. So writer's workshop page. That's okay. Save that. Go back here and refresh. Click it now. And now there we go. And that should bring us here. There we go. And you can see it's working instantly. It just works. So that's that's basically it. Now you could spend a bit of time to uh, get this straight into the middle or just make it look a bit nicer. There's two ways you can do that. I'm going to go over here and show you. One way could be just simply clicking here and uh, making sure that it's actually in the center. All right. So if I save that now uh, and then go back over here, just makes it a little bit neater. There we go. So it's bang in the middle. Or you could just fill in the page by dragging it out a little bit more to make sure it fits into that space there, uh, which is the option that I'm going to go for. So I'm going to drag this out first things first. I'm going to make sure this is actually back to where it was so left and then all i have to do is drag it out again making sure that you have the same kind of spacing on the right and the left hand side there's no point dragging it out from the right here and not drag the bottom half bottom half as well in the same manner so you want similar kind of proportions as you come out there we go okay and i might drag this out a little bit more and there we go. And I don't want to make it too large. Um, but let's see how it looks. If I drag it out to about there. What does it look like? So if I save that now. If I don't like it, I can always go back. Refresh. It's too tall. You can see it's far too tall. And it's also made it a bit blurry as well. So what I'm going to do is go back and undo that. And keep it how it was before but like i said there's no harm in testing it see how it looks save that go back refresh yeah it's just a lot sharper it looks a bit neat it looks neater so i'm happy with that as it is so like i said no harm in trying it out just give it a go and uh, see what works best for you and that's basically it that's how easy it is to do that task there